Hi everyone, my name is Hannah and I am a math teacher at Black Forest Academy. BFA is an international Christian boarding school located in southwest Germany. Over 85% of our student population are children of missionaries and they represent 59 different countries this year. That means that we are working with missionaries in over 50 different countries by caring for and providing an education for their students and in part enabling them to be able to serve where they're located well because they know that their child's being taken care of. Um, BFA has three different components to it. One is our residence life program, one's our school, and the other is our student life program. So I'll just walk through the three of them. Our first is res life. And so residence life, we have six dorms that are scattered throughout the town of Condern. Two of them are girls dorms, two of them are boys dorms, and two of them are integrated dorms. And they have about 20 students each. And so we roughly have 120 students in our residence life program. Um, and each dorm has four to five staff members that come together and work as a team to care for these students. So that's taking students to the doctors, that's making sure that they're fed, that's making sure they get their homework done, and really just making sure that they're healthy physically, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and just making sure that they're healthy and coming alongside of them um, on the daily life. And then our schooling program are, is to provide a quality education for these students. Um, some of them have been homeschooled their whole life. Some of them wanted to speak in English before they go to a different college that's going to be in English. And so they come here or maybe they just needed to learn how to be social and they came to BFA or they just needed an education that was a better suited for them. And so in my classroom, sometimes that's explaining extra words that I wasn't anticipating to explain or hearing students in the back talk in Korean and also hearing them bring in different concepts or the different ways that they had learned the same material, but in a different way and being able to work with them to build off what they know and to bridge that gap, whether it's through um, a language barrier or through a content missing because of being moving around from different um, education systems. And then our student life program, we have sports that students can do. So that's volleyball, basketball, cross country, track and fields, and soccer are sports. And we have a theater program for students to be able to be in a play or a musical, as well as many different ministry opportunities for them to be leaders. So we have an Awana program that high school students can be leaders for elementary school students. And yeah, they have all those different opportunities as well as some other clubs. And for me, I spent my first two years as a resident life, um, as a resident assistant in a girls dorm. And so I spent two years caring for students on a daily life. And I just loved being able to walk alongside those students and just be with them as they grew into people and seeing them go from freshmen or underclassmen over to upperclassmen and yeah, just see their growth and be able to just encourage them on a daily basis. And then now I am a math teacher and I get to be in a math classroom with some of these students and some of them do we have some that are really strong in math and some that struggle. And I really, for those types of students, I get to just walk alongside and encourage them and to get to show them how much they actually know and then build up what they know into what we're learning. And I love that. In our student life, I've been in Awana. I've helped in a theater program. What I also like to do when I'm not in the classroom is to sub in dorms. So once a week, I'll go into a dorm and just help the dorm staff. So mostly that looks like just going in and cooking whatever they need me to cook that day. And that is wonderful for them and wonderful for me to be able to go back into the dorm. Um, I'm also an advisory teacher, which means that I go and I sit with 
high school seniors and we have a how to adult curriculum and we just talk to them sometimes we're checking in with them to see how they're doing and other times we're teaching them what does it look like to write a resume and to be able to build that as they graduate from bfa how can we help build that foundation for them to be successful after graduation so thank you thank you for your support and your prayers and i truly do appreciate it um, if you could be praying for my first year teaching, every day is a new day and I'm constantly learning so many new things and I would appreciate prayers for that, as well as for our students, just for them to continue to encounter the Lord and to choose to follow him each and every day. Um, I appreciate that. Thank you, everyone.